Follow your heart back to the good old U.S. of A. You know, you're pretty good at this, aren't you? Well, I've had a lot of practice. Of course, in my line of work, we don't usually uh, run into guys who are working that hard. Uh, they're not looking for money. Some things are worth a lot more than money, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The fact is, I've gone an extra mile or two for a lady in my day. I admire your dedication. Now, just please, don't tell Cassie about any of this. You got my word. Safe with me. Thanks. <clears throat> now, hey, I got another mission to go to. Tell Cassie I'm going to be calling her. Got a minute? Oh, I know you're a fast worker, Max, but you can't have Tina in love with you this fast. Yeah, well, I'm making progress. Oh, good. Keep it up. Yeah, that's just it. See, before I make I make any major moves, I want to know something. Is Court still in love with Tina? What difference does that make? If Tina pushes the right buttons, is Court going to take her back? I hope not. But it's possible, given her condition. Wait, what? Condition? What condition? What are you talking about? Nothing. I... It's just that Tina's very high-strung, and she plays on that for sympathy, oh. and Cord usually yeah. falls for it. Yeah, I can understand that. It's easy to do. The question is, Max, will she respond to you? Given enough time and the right backing, I can make sure she doesn't remember Cord again. I'm counting on that. Yeah, and I'm counting on something, too. Like that little loan you promised me. Oh, Promise? Uh-huh. Now, Max, if I set you up in your ranch in Argentina, you will be gone. And Tina will be here all by her lonesome to pursue my son. And what if Tina doesn't stay behind? What if she comes along with me to Argentina? Oh, that's a very big what if. Well, come on, Maria. You float me the loan. I'll float Tina right out of town. Now, wait a minute. I'm no financial whiz, but isn't that like, like, like I I giving me interest in advance? But I tell you what. If you can convince Tina to leave the country with you, I'll give you all the money you need. Mrs. Roberts, you just bought yourself a ranch. Mr. Holden, you just bought yourself a pack of trouble named Tina. Okay, Asa, I'm convinced. You really do care. More than that, Delilah, I want it back. You think I have a chance? I mean, be honest. There was a time I, I would have said you wouldn't have had a chance in a million. Pam's had a wonderful effect on you. you. I really thought your marriage would work. It would have. But Pete O'Neill didn't stick his two cents in. All right, all right, all right. I blew it myself, but... I tell you, I'm going to do everything I can. If it's, if it's diamonds, if it's kidnapping, if it's all the oats in Kentucky, I mean to win her back. Hey, sir? Dennison, what are you doing here? Looking for you. Delilah, would you excuse us, please? Uh, Asa and I are going to have a little heart-to-heart. -heart. Uh, you make an appointment with my secretary, or I'll call security and toss you, you out. You can call the Marines. I'm staying here. Maybe you better step outside, Delilah. No, maybe I better stay and referee. Delilah, perhaps it's best you do what uh, Asa suggests. We have something we're going to have to settle here. Oh, this is all we need. Two bulls butting heads. Delilah, please. All right, I'm going. All right, Dennison, what is stuck in your craw this How about time? the knife stuck in Mike Owen's back, huh? Who the hell is Mike Owen? My friend in El Paso who was fired to make room for me to take over his job. I feel sorry for your friend, but what has it got to do what with me? What are you talking about? You arranged to have him fired. How could you do that, huh? How? Wreck a man's career just to get me out of town and away from Vicky. What in the blue blazes are you talking about? Uncle Mesa, I was ready to walk away from this and not look back. I, I was willing to put my own dreams on the back burner so Clint and Vicky could try to rebuild their marriage. You know that? Here's something for your own good, Dennison. You catch the first plane out to El Paso. I know what's good for me. Vicky is good for me. And I am good for her. And since you started a medal. Thing. I've changed my plans, Asa. I'm staying! Over my dead body. If that's what it takes. You know something, Asa? If Clint happens to lose Vicky, there's just one man you can thank for that. Asa 
You can. I'll be seeing you around. Asa. I'll check back with you later. Max. Hmm? You're facing a very big challenge. It's not going to be easy to get Tina out of this town. Yeah, no problem. I've dealt with difficult women before. Tina is not just difficult. Yeah, just leave it to me, huh? All right. But there's one detail that I'm not going to leave to chance. I don't want to see Tina here in six months. Wait a minute, you just said you want her gone? That's right. Permanently. Maria, if I didn't know you any better, I would swear you want me to plant her in a concrete overcoat in the middle of the Amazon. No, 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 nothing that drastic. I just don't want her back in Cord's life. Yeah, I want you to understand something. I like Tina. I don't intend to hurt her. In fact, I intend to make her so happy that she's going to forget all about Landview and all about your son. All right, but that's going to be very hard, even for a charming fellow like you. Yeah, well, you just have the money ready. I'll do what's needed. All right, for your sake, I hope you can. Because you won't see a dime of my money until I see your airline ticket and Tina's. You strike a hard bargain. Take it or leave it. Oh, I'm taking it. Uh, but there's one little thing that you mentioned before. Tina is a lady of very expensive taste. And, you know, a little advance might help things on a little bit. How much is a little? Well, that depends on how badly you want her out of Cord's life. The more I get, the sooner she's gone. I want to talk to you, please. Uh, we'll talk. I've always got plenty of time to talk to you, Vicky. I have one question, and I would like a straight answer. You make this sound so serious. Come on, let's sit down and discuss. Clint, please. I would like to know if Asa was acting alone or if you were in on this thing with him. In on what? A friend of Tom's was fired from the El Paso Journal, and within a few hours, that same job was offered to Tom. Tom again, huh? So what? So I want to know if you and Asa arranged for that to get Tom out of Landview. I can't believe that you'd think I'm capable of such a thing. I don't want to believe it. But it's really the only explanation.